All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the Atlanta Falcons. Here we go. The final week of the NFL season, Week 17, is underway. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. this one down to the 24 a big play there on the first play of the game 51 yards well welcome to the party first carry of the game how about that and just think as far as he's concerned he's just getting warmed up So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. And he'll give it here to his running back. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Second and 11 now. Murray eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be third down. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And it's caught. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cardinals take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Hey, 
Buddy up. Right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. Here we go, here we go. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 21-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Get him! Get him! They'll run it with Dixon. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. Okay, didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. On third and short, it's Dixon, and he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, that was big right there because they're in the bottom five in the league and converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. On first down, they go with Dixon. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Here we go. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. A first down carry for Bell, but he'll work forward for only about a yard. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, Fields. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They've got to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think with their count. And this is caught. A one-handed catch, that's one thing, but with a defender right there, that was a heck of a play. It used to be that one-handed catch was instinctive in a game. Now it's a practiced move. They work on it before, after, during practice sessions. It becomes part of their repertoire. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Gold with the extra point, and they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Even though they might not find the number one seed next to their name come playoff time, there's not going to be very many teams, if any, entering the playoffs on the kind of run they're on. They're hot. And I love that word, hot, because every team in the league wants to go into the playoffs on that uptick. Because a lot of the time, you serve notice to the rest of the league that, hey, we're the team you need to deal with. You're, we're the team that's going to be a real problem for you. And if they can continue this streak, they can very well be that team and gain that confidence that they're seeking as they head to the playoffs. And confidence, that's the word I would use from our meetings with them. They said we're playing our best football right now. It is showing. On second and 15 now, Murray. Got this complete to the rookie out of UMass, Andy Isabella. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Now 
Now a pass dropped off here for James White. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a one-point game, 7-6. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Murray. He's got White here. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now a play fake here on first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him, and he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. This is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts and still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. The Cardinal offense not going anywhere. They'll stay out and go for two. the gun. Murray. Cut, cut, cut. Flush to his right. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So they go with the pass and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position. And I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league. But the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early. But there's that special one there. I say they go get him. On second down, it's Dixon. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. 
Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. A gain of 10, first down, Arizona. Murray going to lead his guys up first and 10, and he's a perfect 6 for 6 here to start the ball game. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach, go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you get this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. Try and go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. Throwing on first down. Fields flushed out right. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit. But only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Back to throw. Fields. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Dylan Cole. Intercepted. All 
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Murray going to lead his guys up first and 10, and he's 8 for 8 now, throwing the ball to start the game. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Fields in trouble here, and down he goes, back at the eight-yard line. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Here's Murray. Escaping the pressure right. And able to find Kirk complete. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he's got this down to the 35. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Let's go. Strong right. Strong right. You got three. 
He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Trying to defend the out route there. Got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun. Fields. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. Fields. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Dylan Cole, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Trying to go back to Watkins. On first and 10, Fields. He's going to look deep for Watkins, and that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Partner, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 16. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. To throw, it's Murray eluding the pressure right. Goes underneath here to White. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 
And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Open man is Kirk, complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pickup there, 21 yards. The three red zone trips, three touchdowns so far. They'll look for a fourth on second and goal. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. The three red zone trips, three touchdowns so far. They'll look for a fourth on second and goal. Murray now to throw. Flush to his right. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Now Murray throwing on second down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. But now it's third and goal. You got to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Murray now, third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. On fourth down, here's Zane Gonzalez for the Cardinal field goal. And the kick by Gonzalez is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Looking to throw. Fields. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. On fourth down, Fields. He can run for it, and he will. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he's going to get this to the 40-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. From the gun, Fields. And that's complete to Cooks. Touchdown, Falcons! Brandon Cooks with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Falcons cut into that lead. Under 10, under 10. Operating from the gun. Fields to the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, 
someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, Here we go. Here we go. all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're not what you turd want? What you turd? What's up? Mm. Hello? Oh, poop dick. Damn, don't we'll talk about yourself. Eight that. yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now a handoff looking right. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward. And they will put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. I thought you expected an answer since we came here. Slanging questions. And he'll give it here to his running back. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Tony, you're going to play a game? They lose a yard uh, I there got a uh, game right now, and then I got another game after. So, so no. After that, so we do. Two minutes left to play in this football you game you here ain't on Gilbert EA Brown, Sports. I ain't bought Ooh. Ooh. Gilbert Brown. So the Cardinals, Gilbert, they've got the football here as we what? get your reset. You don't know Gilbert Brown. This guy doesn't know Gilbert Brown. You don't know Gilbert Brown. Having time to talk no, it over. literally what I said. Who's Gilbert Brown? I don't know how, so more, right. how it's more simple I could think that. But whatever. Well, you could have not messed up. And it's intercepted. <laughs> Gilbert Brown is the Packers team down. The 40 -yard line. So they elected to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand. Ooh, I just got a spread and word. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on hey, first and ten. Hey, the Saints. Give me a Tracy Porter. He gets a sack. Back to throw. Oh, what's up, Porter? Let's come in down he goes. Apparently he's a good one. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pulled a starting quarterback. Almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. That's exactly what he's made, too. Yeah, he's got to take a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. That's exactly what he's made, too. Probably. He sounded like a balloon deflating when he got hit. Alright, well. To throw on second down. Fields. That's complete. It's Bell. <laughs> Give him Johnny two yards on that play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Fuck no. We saw what happened yesterday. Hey, you can get 49ers, Ken, though. He was dancing on your defense. <laughs> he was dancing going nowhere. But he was dancing. I don't know. He scored on that one. Fields. Can we get well, Joe Klecko? He has the biggest complete. mix in football history. Be taken down, but <laughs> Only if we get Keo Spikes. Ooh, his neck. Keo Spikes? That Bills kid? Ooh, is he the Bills kid? Ooh, is he the Bills kid? Is he? I feel like everyone plays in the 49ers. That's where players would go to die for a while. Yeah, it's good when you're... That's why the Raiders have so many good, like, theme team things. Because everyone would be playing for the shitty Raiders in the other country. And you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going Dante on in between. You could literally get Dante Culpepper. Probably way too Who else much is out there? Because right now, he's Randy Moss, obviously, Jerry Rice, Kevin Mays, Kevin Mays. What he needs to do? Uh, I'm get through this down. game. <laughs> Josh Go to the press conference, camp. meet it head on, and show your teammates. Oh, now Murray has it stripped, and the Falcons grab it, and they're going to set up shot at the 27-yard yeah. line. Basically, everyone who ever played for the Atlanta offense the out there for their next drive. So this is just an hey, exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost, 
But this is not a situation mm -hmm. now where you're going to make up for three. anything. We'll see what they do mm -hmm. here. So it's yeah. a win here really for the Arizona Cardinals. Mm -hmm. And this yeah, not yeah, always yeah, an easy yeah. proposition yeah, awesome. charge. You had a West Coast team safe. that traveled he's east, but they got the job done. <laughs> and there's so much that goes Love into it. Love the cut sticks, people, too. Your body time <laughs> Never hit one yet, but he's different. From what you're used to west. One of these days. You're going to lose up to three hours. Right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually Invite rehearse it, ready. they practice it. Maybe the week oh, of the I'm game, still, I'm trying they move to everything up to that time right frame. Maybe. So guys, get used ready? to doing it that way. Yeah. He never I when ready. I played at Tennessee, when we you had to go never from ready, east to west, fairly reliable. our trainer Tim Curran <laughs> said, leave your watches How on reliable. East Coast time. Every Seven piece of information we got list. was still East Coast mm, standard man. time. ETA. Try to psychologically Always. tell us what to do, as well as prepare right, our bodies the same way. <laughs> so for the Cardinals, the final win here means he, he said he already getting sleepy. 